Cheers. Cool. Okay, that's, that's a good one. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, guys. G'day and welcome to You Can't Watch The Sober. We're not film critics, we're just assholes. Do right. So what are we watching today, Ben? We are watching Killer Bean Forever. And who's our special guest we have with us? Uh, we have Aaron. He is our director and producer on another one of our projects and we figured, fuck it, let's get him drunk. Yeah. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes, Killer Bean, wow. That is a, it's... This is the third time I've actually watched it in recent times, and yeah, I've decided now that it's a masterpiece. Yeah, so really, it shouldn't be on this. Yeah, mm. it is a very, it's, oh, it's funny. It is a funny film, like, it is just very weird. I think it's a level of quality which is unmatched in the modern day. Um, <laughs> but in, in the most absurd way, right? The animation's actually fantastic. Well, yeah, it was made in 2009. Yeah, I was, I was, it held up pretty say, well. Yeah, it's aged well, like fine wine. Yeah, or, or fine coffee. Because <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be hearing a lot of bean and coffee related jokes in this film. That's so prepare for that. Sweet God. All right, uh, Nick, do you want to give us a synopsis of the film? Do you want the official one or just? I want one? the official one. Okay. <clears throat> Killer Bean is sent on a mission in Bean Town, but when he attacks one of the warehouses owned by the mafia boss Cappuccino. He gets the attention of Detective Cromwell, a bean who's trying to put Cappuccino and possibly kill a bean behind bars. That doesn't really say a lot about the movie, but, <laughs> um, but uh, it's a synopsis. It is. It's a synopsis. It's true. All right. Uh, what about what about you, Aaron? You've mm. recently now viewed it. What would your personal synopsis of this film be? Picture this. Okay. You've just had thirteen cups of coffee. An unlucky number, to be sure. <laughs> And everything's going in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the vaguest, but like most accurate. <laughs> no, so dude, no, that's, that, that's fucking it. That's it. Holy shit. <laughs> how many beans were were used? Oh, how this? many beans died in the production of this film? Yeah, so many. And their deaths are incredible, by the way. Like, you know, we talk about how great this animation is, but I think the true pinnacle of it is like the rag doll when they mm, die. Mm, mm. Mm. It's perfection. I'm gonna do the house rules. Uh, and I'm gonna try to do them as if I've drunk 13 cups of coffee, as Aaron suggested before. So the first house rule is the, this is ridiculous moment. Uh, that's sort of any time in the film that uh, a moment's like, wow, this is ridiculous. Just take a drink. Uh, the second house rule is uh, whenever, Characters get a bit hot and steamy and start kissing. <laughs> we'll be kissing our drinks. And the third house rule is uh, when, you know, characters get a bit jovial, get a bit like, they want to get some libations in and they start having a drink. So wait, we're going to have a drink. You start drinking your drink. And the fourth and final house rule is the, um, if you find a funny name in the credits, you're going to uh, have a drink for them. Yeah, because we like the assholes who make their shit. And if you don't watch the credits, Okay, now we're on to uh, the Killer Bean Forever drinking rules. And this is our first drink rules. Yeah, first drink. So, first rule, which is probably the most used rule. Slow motion. So, this film was created by Jeff Liu. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, who directed, produced, and wrote this, and animated it as well. Um, and acted you know, in it. He's, 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 a real, he's a real Tommy Wiseau of the animation world. He's an auteur. He loves that bullet time. And even when, it, when it's not to do with bullets, it's, it's yeah, it's just nasty. Lead animator yeah. on, on The Matrix. Yeah. yeah. So it's good animation, at least. Yeah. Just a lot of it. Just a yeah. lot of slow-mo. <laughs> yeah. A second first drinking rule is drink every time Killer Bean reloads, which Nick, I believe you have a hard mode for this. Hard mode. Yeah, so we've got a hard mode for this specific rule, and that is uh, drink every time he should have reloaded. Yeah, yeah, because his, <laughs> his, his gun of choice is these two beautiful golden pistols, but way too many shots come out of them. We're entering Steven Seagal levels oh, of um, not but reloading. He, but he at least reloads. Yeah, it's at least yeah. a few times he reloads. Drink every time there's an oddly sexual innuendo or an ass joke, once again, a lot of these, they also like 
hang a lot of ass in this film. There's points where the beans just aren't wearing pants. Don't choose that as an ass joke or else you're not gonna make it past like the first fight scene. I, I've seen a lot of coffee beans in my life. Like I know they've got the crack down the middle, but it's not as pronounced as what it is in the film, right? Like It's excessive butt crack. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's next level. The final single drink rules is uh, drink every time Cromwell is corrupt, mm. which isn't a huge amount of time in comparison to the other ones, but that boy be corrupt. Yeah, so Detective Cromwell, sort of the one bean police officer who actually has like normal clothes. He has pants. He has pants. He has pants. He is, I think, the so first the guy has pants. Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's him. Um, yeah, he's he goes outside the law a lot. Um, so, you yeah, know, if you ever feel like he's probably being a bit corrupt, you have a drink. Now, uh, on to the two drink rules. Uh, the first of the two drink rules is whenever you hear the theme song, which it's very distinct, it's like, bow, 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 bow. Yeah, Aaron's gonna play right now. I swear to God, Aaron, if you didn't put this in the edit, I will. Well, that was the theme song. There we go. It is incredible. <laughs> I hope that was the theme song. <laughs> the second two drink rule is anytime Jet Bean is on the screen, yeah, oh, it's it's fantastic. So he almost gets forgotten about for majority of the film. Yeah, he turns up around the thirty-minute mark uh, as this sort of guy from the east who's been sent to Bean Town to take care of Kill Bean, um, and then they just kind of forget about him for another half an hour, and then he turns up again. So either drink your two drinks whenever he turns up, or you know whenever you see him after a while, you know, do what you will. So we're moving on to our uh, three-drink rule. Three drinks. We're going to drink three drinks when uh, we have the baseball bat scene. Um, mm. Obviously, there's a scene in, a, in the early part of the film uh, in which a baseball bat is used predominantly. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it because it's arguably one of the best scenes and funniest scenes in the film. Oh, it, so you're just going to see it, it's going to come up. They're in a high rise. You know, I'm not going to say much more about it. And now the uh, final drinking rule for Killer Bean forever is you're going to finish your drink when Killer Bean bounces his bullet. So this happens very late in the film, uh, and when you see it, you feel, you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, it is, it is, it's undescri It's like indescribable. It's indescribable. Uh, I can't say, I can't say. I, I truly <laughs> believe it was at that point that we realized that this is not a bad film, but this is a masterpiece. Exactly. I've never seen a bean bounce a bullet so boisterous. <sighs> <laughs> so definitely. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So those are the drinking game rules for Killer Bean Forever. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, let us know how it went down at your place and you know if there's any sort of rules that you would change or if you've got any house rules of your own. And let us know if there's any films you want us to do. Till then, gather your friends, get some drinks, because you can't watch this sober. No. I, I, I can't. Well, you, you can, it's just really depressing. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, uh, we've actually already discussed what film we want to do next. So we're going to do uh, another cult classic, Biodome. Which I'm really excited because I've actually never seen it. It is, oh, it is something else. So get ready for that one. Aaron, do you, do you want to join us for Biodome? Absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. It means more drinks. Hell yeah. I, I was about to say, only Jeff can get away with this, but I don't think he can. No, cut that, cut that. <laughs> cut that, cut that. <laughs> no, we're, we're calling you out, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jeff.